Hello, my name is Boyce, and today we're going to talk about how to film yourself for stock video sales. Okay, to film yourself, of course, there's a couple things you need. You need a camera, of course, and you also need a tripod. That's the minimum of what you need. But sometimes I also like to put a little movement in my shots. And so what I do is I set up on here, um, not always, but I try to set up a pan tilt head and or a slider. I use the Zeopon system, and I'm going to show you uh, real quick how easy that is to set up. I'm setting this up high so that you can get a good look at it um, and it's got a level on here but I just want to set that level. I want to set it so that the controls are back here and the camera would be facing that way but uh, of course that would depend on wherever it is you're filming. That's the bottom. That's the panning one. This is the tilt portion of it, and that's all it takes to set it up. Okay, once the batteries are in and uh, they're turned on, then you go to your app. And uh, this is a, just a really good system to use. But through the app, the app automatically connects to the pan and tilt heads. So once they're connected um, and you put your camera here, this is just like a gimbal. The, the, the thing about it that's different from a gimbal is that you don't have to balance it. It's much easier to, to put the camera on here and center it and, and not have to worry about balancing it. Um, but you can do this absolutely with a gimbal and do it the same way I'm doing it here. And then I just move the um, uh, joystick on the phone to pan it any direction I want or tilt it up and down and uh, and I can use waypoints so I can put in those waypoints uh, in where I need it to film and then it can follow my motion so that's how quick and easy it is to set up and that's why I like it and also there's a slider and I can have that um, as part of it too this is also really great for time lapses but today I'm going to use this to film myself all right, once you have your tripod set up and any motion device that you might be using, and remember you can use a slider, you can use a gimbal, a uh, pan tilt uh, device like I have, or you don't have to use anything at all. You can just use a tripod with a static shot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Um, the next thing you need is, of course, you need a model release. Please keep in mind that you can apply these principles to when you're filming others as well. It's just a little harder to film yourself, and so that's what I'm talking about today. So, you need a model release and often a property release. What I use is the Easy Release app. Um, Blackbox also has a form. You can find it in the help section on the Blackbox portal and just download that. I like the app better. It's easy to fill out. You just open it up on your phone. You um, fill in the blanks. You can use your smartphone to take a picture of the model or the property. It attaches that and then you sign. Remember that you can sign. Of course, you're always going to sign as the videographer, uh, but you can also sign. The same person can sign as shown here as the um, uh, uh, model. And, but what you can't do is, is uh, have, you can't sign as the witness, of course. You need a third person. If you're filming another person you also cannot sign as the videographer you cannot sign as a witness you need a person that is neither the photographer nor the model sign as the witness that person of course is witnessing just the signature of that person verifying that that person really did sign they're not witnessing the actual video shoot that's not necessary so you need those two releases uh, you don't always need a property release, but since you're doing this and you can control the location, uh, if it's uh, in your house, apartment, yard, you might as well attach a property release as well. 
One thing I've noticed in my sales is that every clip I have of myself that's sold has me in a position that is reasonable for my age and gender and even ethnicity. So I'll film myself doing things that, um, that I look like I should be doing. Older people doing things that are active, that are doing things with family, uh, that seems to sell, and things that are related to medicine, taxes, uh, social security, just issues that older people are always dealing with. Obviously, you have to look at yourself very frankly and say, what should I, if, based on my age, my ethnicity, my location, the, what, what, what does it look reasonable that I should be doing that would be good for commercial sales? So make sure you put yourself in a position to be successful in the concept of what you're shooting. Now today, just for an example, I filmed myself packing. I'm actually going on a trip tomorrow. In fact, by the time I edit this and it gets out, I'll be um, in Iraq or on my way to Iraq, uh, as you see this. Um, so I really was packing. The reason I decided to wear a suit in this series is because, uh, first of all, that's how I actually travel. Uh, it's a requirement for my job. And secondly, um, I found that there were very few pictures of older men or very few videos of older men uh, packing up and going on a business trip wearing a suit. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm limiting the niche of people that might look to buy this. I'm limiting the buyers. I'm, I'm helping them narrow in on me as opposed to hundreds of other videos of people packing. So this one would be old, older businessmen um, in a suit packing for a short trip. You always want to do three types of shots if you can. You want to do far, medium, and close up. For the far, I used a static tripod. I also turned this into a time lapse. There were very few time lapses of people packing, so I thought that might sell. Then for the medium, I used the motion device. I had to practice this a couple times before I got the timing and the motion of the pan tilt system to match my actions but it didn't take too long, maybe 10 minutes. And then I did another one where I had it show my documents that I'm taking, in one case my passport and COVID test, and the other one I wanted to make sure the COVID, uh, te not test, but vaccine certificate was clearly shown. So I just had that out, putting that in my backpack. Um, and I'd use that, uh, again, I used the tilt device to do the close-ups on those so that I could be, I was the only one there and that was the only way to get that done. And that's the advantage of having a little bit of a, a system that can move and move with you and follow you, even though it takes a little practice and a little timing. I would be interested in any tips that you have when it comes to filming yourself. Uh, please put them down below. I can read them, others can read them, get an idea of how you film yourself. And if it's specific to stock video, that is also helpful. I can also do a follow-up follow -up video. I've done a lot of um, clips where I've, um, uh, we're out, my wife and I are out cycling or hiking or doing other things. And, and, and that's, a, that's a little bit of a different thing, especially if you're using a drone. It can be a little bit harder to be in the action and film yourself at the same time but I've uh, been able to do that. I found a way to do that pretty well, and I can show you how to do that too in another video. Hope this has been helpful. Please consider subscribing, and I respond to all comments. Thank you, and have a nice day. Good luck in stock video sales.